Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crash Later, episode 10. So in the last episode, we messed around with the alternator, and I'm a little sad that I couldn't get the gears to work, so we're gonna have to pivot a little bit. But first, before we head over there and take a look at what I planned on doing, I just wanted to go over what I did in the last uh, stream. So, uh, I built this house a couple episodes ago, something like that. But I never filled in the inside, it was pretty bland, and I wanted to actually do that in a stream, and that's exactly what I did. We added a little bit of an interior. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this, and if you guys have any fun ideas like that I could add to this to, to make it a little more cozy or something, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. So, I added a nice little kitchen. I added the kitchen in here because what if you had a neighbor, like say you're eating dinner and, and one of your pesky neighbors came up. You gotta... You gotta know if you gotta know if they're coming or not, right? Like you gotta be you gotta be prepared to like hide. <laughs> but overall, I am actually really happy with how this kitchen uh, turned out, and I do want to say thank you to anyone who did join the stream and helped me like gave their ideas and opinions on like how things should look and where they should go. I thought uh, it was a lot. It was a really fun stream, and I definitely uh, would like to do it again sometime. But yeah, I got a really nice kitchen, got a nice little fridge with a nice, uh, with a nice little letter on the on the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> However, this is also a functional kitchen as well. This is where I have the the cooking workbench, and I'm gonna hopefully keep like all my food stuff probably in the fridge, honestly. This uh, up here, I'm just using for actual, like, just storage. And, and oh no, my duck. In the arms of the angel. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Anything I have out here, I'm gonna eventually put inside. Or, um, I still, I still do plan on putting something down here. Like I said, probably most likely a dock or something. Because eventually, I think I want to make like a boat or something just to be able to drive around and have some fun with and i think a dock down there kind of like a like kind of like a workshop dock area i think that'd be kind of a uh, fun place to do that then moving on from the kitchen we got an, just kind of a simpler living room we got a nice little pink couch because pink couches are great <laughs> we got a, honestly i'm really happy with this tv it's like glass with coal behind it i thought the uh, the coal added a nice little like feature like nice little aesthetic just to kind of show that it's turned off a little bit and some might say that the TV is in the wrong spot, but I say this is the only outlet. Like, I had to place it here because that's the only outlet. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Should I move the TV over here and then swap the couch over here? I don't know. I like the couch over here because say if you actually are watching the TV, again, a window thing. You're looking out the window and you can just kind of just you look over every now and then, look at the wildlife or the forest or something like that. I don't know. I like it. I mean, the TV is a little awkward spot, but I don't think it's the worst. And this is where I still do want to have this spot right here. Have like, probably, It's probably just going to be like a ladder going straight down onto like the dock workshop area. Just so I can, just so you can come up and down a free, at least very freely. And also, I think the, the, the very long ladder is going to add to the funkiness of the outside as well. And lastly, I think I added a little bit of a bedroom slash storage area upstairs and i crafted the uh this um the quote unquote dress spot which is now just a, a wardrobe which looks really nice i thought they did a good, really good job on it oh jeez i forgot i had <laughs> i forgot i had things not actually welded down because some of these things don't have weld points mainly this this guy right here but i just had a nice simple bedroom and um i here is where I feel like I really need to add a, maybe a little bit, a little bit more detail, but I'm not quite sure in how I want to do that. I got a great comment adding like a wolf rug or like a wolf like pelt in here, but it's just it's so small. The wolf pelt's so small, and they also has like a little like circle in part of it. If it was just like a rectangle, I thought it, it would work. It would work, it would work really nice because you could probably put like multiple next to each other. But I I, I tried it out. I'm I just wasn't too happy with it. Then finally, at least when it comes to like the finer details, I did add I I did add like like um, like a porch on this side as well, because um, I, I originally just had like a little little bit of scaffolding or scaffolding for me just to walk kind of walk around and like build a little bit, make it a little easier. 
but I, I really I really liked the scaffolding, so I decided to turn it into a balcony. Because this is also nice, say if you want to put like a chair out here, which I probably should have, honestly. I might do that in the future. Is that, or have like, a, maybe like a, like a swinging bench or something, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like something needs to be out here. Just kind of sit back, relax, have some drinks, and just enjoy your day. So, yeah, again, just feel free to give me any of your guys' suggestions or just opinions on how you guys think this turned out. I thought, like I said, I'm very happy with it. Um, not too much more I feel like I want to do with it besides do some stuff work down below. And with all of that being said, let's head over to my little alternator area and I'll have a little bit of a talk about that. However, before we actually did go over there, I just wanted to go show off a tool I acquired during a stream. Uh, this was the, I got this tool by doing a quest for Bill for building him a shed. Uh, that did, <laughs> that shed took a lot longer than I thought to build because I had to run back and forth, I don't know how many times, to my base and back to Bill. Oh, it was <laughs> quite tedious. But I think it was overall well worth it because you have this sickle. And so I just wanted to show you all. So usually when you cut the corn, or when you get the corn, it will drop the it'll drop the corn on the ground like this. However, if you have the sickle, if you watch my if you watch my hot bar, it goes directly into your inventory. And with the sickle, this works on like the flower, like on these pigment flowers, anything in all your crops as well. And there's a chance to get double crops out of it. And one thing I also learned, if you do this on like one of the wild cotton plants, you also, I feel like, I think it's a 100% chance to get a cotton seed. So if you want to get some free cotton seeds, feel free to just make, make a sickle and you can get pretty much infinite cotton seeds. <laughs> All right, now we're back at the alternator area where I want to at least make the build and get some batteries from. So I just wanted to go over kind of at least what I attempted in the last episode. And I do want to still give it the illusion that it's still doing it. So the way the alternator works, if anyone doesn't remember, is you just have to take a bearing and you just you attach it to the alternator and then you make it spin. And that pretty much that will generate batteries for you. However, I wanted it to be a little bit more fun because I I know, trust me, I know you could just use a controller. Okay, I'm showing I'm showing right here, and you just have I just have five controls right here, so all spinning at 360 degrees on a loop, and then having having it all spin this bearing and connecting it right here. And yes, trust me, everybody, I know, <laughs> I know you could do that. It's super simple, and you know what it also is. It's boring, so I wanted it to be a little bit more fun. However, uh, <laughs> a little heartbroken that I wasn't able to do it. Uh, so I attempted to use kind of like a gear system because if anyone doesn't know about the gears, like if you have a big gear spinning into a little gear, the, the small gear will go faster, right? So I wanted to try and use that principle or or whatever it's called <laughs> to, to hopefully spin, get a lot of batteries out of that. However, uh, the, the alternator has so much resistance when you actually hook up the bearing that it is just not feasible. Like it would it would work over time, but it would just be it would be so slow. It just and I do plan on doing like a little bit of AFKing over here because my base is it's like honestly I think it's like just out of like render distance or chunk floating, however you want to say it. And I would have to I'm gonna have to sit over here a little bit if I actually want to gain a lot of batteries. So yeah, I feel I plan on just probably just doing something like this, but I still want the gears. I want to at least. Because I want to, I, I like the visual idea of the gears, and I do want to show that off just a little bit. So we're gonna have to use our our imagination for a little bit just to try to assume that the gears are doing anything. So, <laughs> but yeah, in re, in reality, we're just I'm just gonna be using uh, some bearings. I don't want to do any more than five uh, five bearings per alternator because uh, the more you add on to it, the more they'll freak out, and it's just I feel like five is good enough. But with that being said, this is actually the this is actually the the first um, iteration of the generator. There's actually there's an upgrade for this, and I want to check that out. I want to see how how good it is. So first things first, I think you're at I mean yeah, you're at six percent. You're, you're you're good enough, right? Let's just hook this up and let's see how fast we can get one battery out of it. I mean, it's already at nine percent. Are you okay? You're off. All right, turn back on. And while that's going, this is, these are the gears as well. They're a little, 
like <laughs> this is also another problem with the gears as well the more like the more interactions you have with them the more like unstable the original one becomes so i try to add in like a stabilizer right here because i i mess with this off camera just to hopefully make it work but i was unable to you can see like how this is like jumping up and down because bearings are floppy and they're stupid and like with just me sit talking about the gears already we're pretty much already at one battery like already at 90 percent like it goes pretty quick with these five bearings just going like spinning at 360 on a loop so like yeah one battery already right super easy and it's pretty efficient already but apparently there is an upgrade to it and the upgrade you need to spin it faster and it also apparently has more resistance as well so i'm a little curious in checking that out we'll see if these five bearings are are even good enough for that so where is my car there here it is i may or may not have had to come back for my crafting table but i noticed the my beat my beats were growing and i wanted to show off the sickle again so usually i have nine beats right here just to be grown and with if using the sickle i got 11 beats so it's not like a hundred percent chance of getting 50 like uh, uh getting like tw double double but I feel like it's no matter what, I think it's still a really good use, especially early game, to use the to use the sickle to, to hopefully get a little bit more crops. It'll just help you, it'll save you a little bit of time in the future, right? All right, well, this is a little bigger. <laughs> I feel like it's probably about twice the size of the other alternator. So twice the size, does that mean twice the batteries? All right, let's hook this up and see how good it is. The, the previous version, it probably gave me about a battery every 30 seconds, give or take around that time. So, uh, if it's like, I'm curious to see if this, if this alone could even do it. I don't have any bear, any more bearings on me or metal to make any. So <laughs> hopefully I don't need to go back without further ado. Let's turn it on. It's the exact same. It seems like maybe actually maybe faster. Maybe it seems a little faster. Yeah, yeah, it does feel fast. I wish I had the other one. I, I wish I had another one to compare it to. It seems actually twice as fast, actually. I feel like for the going up to 3%, it seemed like there was a little bit more of a pause than the bit, this bigger alternator, which is nice to know. So I feel like it's absolutely worth it. I'm not seeing it like it doesn't seem like there's that much of a bigger resistance because these five bearings are doing just <laughs> they're doing they're doing just fine right so i don't know if anybody did the cat like, <laughs> like even still like with with that i feel like you could probably still get away with using the smaller generator if you wanted to save on some materials it doesn't seem like that much faster. Yeah, feel free to let me know if I can actually make this alternator go faster or anything like that, or produ or just produce more. I'd be curious to know like if there is a way. I don't want to add any more bearings because, like I said, it's probably going to get a little more funky <laughs> and again clunky the more ba the more bearings you add onto it. Because even uh, I did have this freak out even just a little bit. It was, I pr it almost like one shot me because <laughs> it was freaking out so much. But yeah, I do plan on, uh, at the end of the day, I do plan on, on like, AFKing here and just getting as many as, like, maybe for, like, an hour or so and trying to get as many batteries as possible. I plan on having maybe, I'm thinking, maybe, like, six of these in total, I think, because each of these controllers has up to ten um, bearing slots, and I want to probably use, like, three controllers, because that, that'll be a six six um alternators and i feel like that'd be good enough because if we ever let's see let's see if we average let's see some maybe some quick bad math here <laughs> so let's just say we per per generator you get two batteries per minute it could be better than that we'll just say we'll just for easy math right so two per minute you have six that's 12 12 times six is six times ten sixty six seventy two so per battery per hour that's 72 batteries that's not bad actually i think <laughs> sorry guys that bad quick math <laughs> so yeah i think that that's gonna be more than enough honestly 
So with all that being said, feel free to correct my math. <laughs> if I'm off by one or two batteries, no need to say that. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. I'm doing it all in my head. All right. Yeah, with that all being said, though, I think I'm going to actually start working on the shell of the base. And kind of like the other build, I don't plan on doing any ex interior stuff right now. I just want to work on a shell and hopefully think about making this more functional than anything at the moment. So let me do a little bit of building and I will be right, be right back with you guys. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, a few days later, and many hours of grinding as well later, we are done, at least with the shell of the build, because I still definitely got to do a lot more inside. I need to get the actual, like, functionality working as well. Definitely in a future episode, we'll be working on the inside and actually getting the, hopefully getting this some gears working and making it a little more like fun inside and then than this hollow shell so anyway let's talk about the build at least a little bit so i think as i mentioned um made episode ago like last episode or i know i'm pretty sure i mentioned this the whole point of this was actually to make a water mill using the water like the, the water wheel so no matter what i wanted to at least incorporate a water wheel because i wanted movement in a build because I need at least to have some, this is scrap organic, I need to at least have some sort of movement. Uh, I'm not trying to go too crazy with all, like, con with controllers and all that. Mainly just because I'm trying to reduce the amount of lag I have in the game so I can actually have a world that's going to last a decent amount of time. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I made, this, this is my, this is my attempt at a water mill. It's, to me, it's not, it's... <laughs> The only thing that really makes it a water mill so at the moment is the water wheel but honestly i am actually very proud of how it has turned out so far i think there's still a little, little bit more work i want to do i think i want to extend the roof out to just a little bit more but uh that's, that's a lot more wedges i need to make <laughs> but um i really I, I i'm loving this little bump out here it makes me kind of feel like romeo and juliet a little bit like <laughs> <laughs> uh and i also like i'm just loving this build all together like i got this nice little like walkway up into the main area i'm thinking of having like kind of like a centerpiece of like my gears kind of shooting out from the middle and maybe having like different like 90 degree angles of the gears try trying to make it a little more like fun inside and and like I'm still debating that. Like I said, I just don't think I have enough time to do that in this episode. Sadly, this has taken me like I said, this has taken me a long time to make so far. But overall, I mean, I still got the it's it's still functional and it's, it's doing what I want it to do. And uh, I I got another like bump out here as well. I I would have put I may have put another bump out near the like more towards the ground, but that stupid tree's in the way, and you can't make it go away. Anyway, so my, my, my plans for this build m even more, I, I'm thinking of actually having like, kind of like a catwalk, kind of like that, I don't even, all oh, right, I guess we're using this block for, for demonstration. But I kind of want to have like, just kind of like a walkway going all the way around and having the center open. And that's like where my like gear system or whatever you just want to call it to be sticking up. Like, and I think that I, just so I can, I, I can walk around and look at it or something. If anyone has any ideas, like how like the gears should look or anything like that, please let me know. Um, I'm also debating on maybe just having some gears stick out from like over here, like wherever the water wheel is, and then kind of making a, like a fake generator and um, hopefully make that look like it's actually producing the power. And then having like a chest somewhere nearby that actually like produces the batteries and just sticking these alternators in some random place because i do have like under here i think yeah under here i have all this room and i'm thinking of maybe just putting the generators or alternators down here along with like what powers them and having like tubes connect and 
all into, into like maybe like one chest where I can just grab grab it from one chest and come come in, do like get, grab the, my batteries and then just leave. Like I said, I'm still debating on how I want to do this. I do, like at the end of the day, I I really wanted the inside to like look like it's actually doing something, right? Uh, I just I don't want to have this big old building uh, up here for nothing. So love to hear what you guys have to say or any like fun ideas you guys think I could do as well. In the next episode, though, I I definitely want to take a little bit of a break from building. I was I was I was also planning on painting this today, but I just I just don't think I have time today, sadly. Um, I think I'll paint when I add the gears and stuff. I'll probably do a I'll paint this as well. Oh, and actually one last thing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys, like I said, I, mean, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this build. I am very happy with it. I think it turned out really well. Uh, there's still more work I want to, I want to do. Um, like, I, like, for example, like, one of my favorite things I added to this build was, like, the ran, the little bit of stone, like, just regular stone in here. It makes it feel like it's kind of, like, the building's been here a while, and it needs to be, like the the walls need to be replaced and whatnot I just, I just feel like it, it adds like some character and stuff i don't know i love it however with that being said everybody i think i'm gonna have to call it to there for today um yeah i would love to have got a little bit more done but i'm just running out of time and i'd like to hopefully get this video out uh soon so uh i want and i just wanted to say thank you everyone who's been joining the last couple streams as well uh helping me do some builds giving your suggestions and just like hanging out with me i really do appreciate it, it helps it definitely uh, helped me get this build done a little bit faster so all right <laughs> and then with that all that being said if you guys are enjoying the series please don't forget to like subscribe and just uh, leave a comment below even if it's just to say hi i just <laughs> It really does help out, so hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. All right, bye!